What are the new principles of influence? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Kalabukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep, deep, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking AI, startups, and the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. As a matter of fact, we're not talking about any of those things today, but we're still talking about something that's very interesting that you'll find incredibly interesting and important, especially if you run a startup. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly appreciate it. Now, if you are a student of marketing or sales or have any kind of influence whatsoever, you've probably read Robert Cialdini's seminal work, which is called Influence. Now, he wrote this a while back, and I don't remember exactly when. But in it, he identified six principles, six, count them, six principles of influence, which, when applied, which is really interesting. By the way, the backstory on this book is that he didn't really write it for corporates to use to influence people. He didn't really write it for businesses to use to influence customers or influence prospects. He actually wrote it as a warning to the prospects and the customers that, hey, watch out, these kinds of things are going to be used against you in order to try and influence you. And these six principles are reciprocity, commitment and consistency, social proof, authority, liking, and scarcity. And using these principles or a combination of these principles is supposed to allow you to influence anybody. Now, I'm not sure when this book was published, but what I'm trying to say today is that even though those six principles did work, or they used to work, they used to work really well, we are now in a world where those principles no longer operate. Of those six principles, maybe two of them are still useful. And there's probably other principles that I can't think of at the moment that can be used to influence individuals. But if you ask me, many of these principles have fallen by the wayside. And right now, we cannot get the same kind of results that we used to be able to do when we use these principles. So let's go through them in a little bit more detail. So reciprocity is the first one. And that one's pretty easy. If you're trying to get somebody to subscribe to your newsletter, you give them a lead magnet. So you give them something and they feel a little bit indebted to you and they're going to give you something back. Now, that works in a normal world where the internet isn't swamped with so much information that it's almost impossible for your little piece of content to stick out. So any kind of lead magnet that you're using, people will say, oh, thank you very much, but not feel like they want to reciprocate at all. So if you ask me, the law of reciprocity is out the window. The next one is commitment and consistency. Now, it used to be that people would have to, especially when we were in our small groups and small teams and we didn't have this kind of social media communication, we had to remain consistent. We had to be, we had to be committed to things. But nowadays, if somebody doesn't want to do anything for you, they just disappear. They ghost you just like that. And it happens more and more. In fact, there's plenty of people talking about how we're now in the land of flaky. I mean, how often... How often have you been able to make a sale because you just happen to continue to ping, 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 ping over again until they tell you to go away? If you're not commitment and consistent, I mean, I think that still works in some ways, but a lot of people don't have that kind of commitment. They don't have that kind of consistency, and we can't see it, especially on the side of the customer. The next one is social proof. Now, if you ask me, social proof is definitely become the strongest indicator of influence today. Because we look at people on social networks and we go, well, how many followers do they have? Do they have a million followers? Do they have 100,000 followers? Do they have 80,000 followers? Do they have 5,000 followers? Well, the more followers they have, we just look at it quantitatively. The more followers we have, the more influence that person has. And in fact, we call them influencers. Anybody who has a certain number of followers, we call them influencers. And not only do we call them influencers, they get money from companies to promote their goods on their channels. So if you ask me, that is the number one most important principle is social proof 
above all others, above all others. So if people do not have social proof, if they don't have an indicated number, a quantity of followers, it doesn't matter what the quality of the follower is, the quantity of followers, then they automatically get put to the top. And social media does this on purpose. Once they find people who are super popular, have numbers of huge numbers of followers, it continues to rise them up. It's the whole head tail thing. And in fact, I'm going to talk about that in my next show on the whole head and tail dynamic that we're stuck in right now. The next one is authority. Well, when was the last time you actually listened to authority figures? That you actually wanted to do something and just followed along with authority? If you ask me, that's completely out the window. Authority doesn't mean anything anymore. In fact, some people would gladly can absolutely take the opposite tact of what an authority tells you to do. We've gotten to the situation, we've gotten to a, a radical place now where we want to do we don't want to do what authority says for us to do. We do the exact opposite. That person, it doesn't matter if they know what they're talking about. It doesn't matter if they're the head of this or the head of that. I don't know if I'm going to listen to them because they don't have social proof. The next one is liking. Now, likability, I think, is still extremely important. And in fact, of these six principles that I'm talking about, likability is probably the only one that's left outside of social proof that's important. You need to be likable. People need to like you. Now, some people don't do this at all. They purposely have personas that are hated, and some people are actually watched for that sort of thing. But I think there has to be some kind of likability in there somewhere for most people to be able to even get the social proof that they're looking for. And then the last one is scarcity. Now, scarcity is the kind of thing that you do when you try to you try to drive people to do something, right? So you create a scarcity event. It's kind of like when fashion retailers have drops and they say, I'm only going to drop it for like a day or I'm going to have a thousand units and that's it. And then they're gone forever. So we create this scarcity. And the thing is, is that nowadays we can, the create, the scarcity is absolutely fake because in nine times out of 10, what you're doing is you're pr promoting or presenting something that's software, that's electronic, that's content. And if you try to scarcify content, it's a little bit ridiculous because if you say, oh, I, I'm only going to give this to the first hundred people or the first thousand people or only the first 10 people are going to be able to download this, you can always turn around and have, download it again. So the scarcity piece of influence is also out the window. So if you ask me, of all of those principles that I talked about, reciprocity, commitment, social proof, authority, liking, and scarcity, the only two principles that are left that are the strongest are social proof and likability. Now, some people might argue with likability. They might argue that having a completely unlikable persona is actually stronger for you. I mean, some people might argue that if you are hated, you're actually going to get more. <laughs> you're going to be more of an influence than if you're not hated. But as far as I'm concerned, and this is only my view, that of those six principles, social proof and likability are the two ones that remain in this internet age. Now, it's entirely possible there are others, and if you know of any others, then please let me know in the comments below. That's it for me for today. See you next time, and until then, don't forget to think future.